This may sound counterintuitive, but it's actually an advantage to be a beginner as a content creator. Now, just hear me out for a second. I'm sure a lot of people that are watching this video, you know, you've probably had that experience before of, you know, you want to create content, but you feel like, you know, you're not ready yet and you start putting these boundaries in place and you say like, okay, these obstacles in your way, right? Like once I get this certification, that certification, then I'll start my YouTube channel. Once I learn this, this, and this, you know, I'm not quite there yet, but once I learn this, this, and this, then I'll start my channel or then I'll start my blog post or whatever it may be. It doesn't have to be YouTube, right? Even if it's writing a blog and things like that, all this stuff is very good for getting a job and very good for showcasing that you have this skill set, you have the knowledge. And I'm just going to echo what uh, John Hammond says all the time, show your work. It's very true. If you create things like blog posts or whatever form, whatever form of media you choose it to be is fine. As long as you're creating stuff, that's really going to help you land a job. And I mean, also while you're on that journey, eventually you'll come to the point where you're going to be getting into those interviews. And if you want to know how to absolutely ace those, I have the top 10 pen testing interview questions that you absolutely need to know. So check that out down in the description below. But as far as, you know, why is this an advantage to be a beginner? Well, let me just tell you right now, there is an edge that you have as a beginner, a certain edge that, and I've, I've noticed this because, I mean, as the longtime viewers of the channel know, I, you know, the YouTube stuff is not the only thing that I do um, with Elevate Cyber. I'm also training up a group of students, um, helping them learn the skill set, the pen testing skill set, and land their first jobs as a, you know, cybersecurity analyst, as a pen tester, red teamer, uh, whatever their goals may be, really. And I've already, you know, we have a few courses under our belt, and I will tell you, one of my biggest challenges, I mean, I'm going to straight up say it, my number one challenge that I encounter when I'm teaching these trainings is that how do you, how do you explain it in a way that a complete beginner would be able to follow along? They wouldn't be too intimidated, but at the same time, people that are a little bit more intermediate, advanced or whatever can still gain value from the course. And as a pen tester, as someone that's in the field and maybe some of you intermediate guys that are watching as well. If you've ever tried to explain a cybersecurity concept to someone who is a little bit more beginner, a little bit more junior at this stuff, one thing you're going to notice is actually really difficult because there's so many jargon terms that we use as pen testers all the time and little shortcuts, acronyms, things like that. You don't even think twice about it. You just use it because you know it's just the lingo, part of the lingo that you're using every day on the job. So that gets really difficult to even realize for one thing that you're doing it. And for another thing to then go back and make sure people that um, are newer can understand. And uh, if you have ever tried to help someone with like a language exchange or anything like that, try to teach people English, it's kind of like, you know, why is this one word pronounced this way? But then this word that is spelled the exact same, but with a T instead of a B is pronounced this way. And you're like, you know what? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> right. It's, it's really difficult to to explain these concepts if you've been using them a lot if you've been in the field if you are more experienced and that is exactly where it can be majorly to your benefit if you are someone newer to cybersecurity right because if you're newer you just learn the stuff yourself so for one thing all of those hurdles are fresh on your mind all the things all those hardships that you encountered along the way while you're learning right now you know chances are several other people that are also in your position are encountering those issues. So if you then come from that standpoint to go and try and teach something, it's gonna be a lot easier for you to teach those new people because you it's so fresh on your mind what they're the issues they're gonna encounter, right? Whereas if you've been doing this for you know 10 years, 20 years, you know, it could be a lot more difficult because you know, it's going to be hard to know, like, what are the, okay, what are the things that I am glossing over, assuming they're going to know that they might not know, right? So that is the biggest advantage that you have as a beginner. So utilize that. Absolutely. Um, create those blog posts while you're learning stuff. Um, you know, when I started this channel, right, I was going for certifications. I mean, I'm still going for certifications to this day, but I didn't have those certifications yet. And I could have said, you know what, I'm going to wait until I get the cert and then start the YouTube channel. But instead, I just started it. And, you know, we've been growing amazingly so far. And uh, 
major shout outs to everyone that's part of the community and constantly um, giving me awesome video suggestions and stuff like that to help make this channel even better. And I apologize for not making a video recently. As you probably have noticed, I moved into a new place uh, recently. got a new setup. The setup is pretty awesome, actually. I'm still ironing out uh, little kinks here and there. I got a huge server next to me, actually. So I ordered like a um, a renewed, uh, it's a Dell R710. Uh, this is like basically a production quality server, like uh, you would find in a, in a server rack. Uh, I'm just using that for uh, virtualization and probably going to build out a pretty crazy lab environment. But uh, again, I also got my uh, desktop up on the uh up on the table now, and I installed Linux. So I got off of Windows finally. <laughs> got rid of Windows, ditched Windows. I'm running uh, Debian Linux, and there's been a, a few challenges along the way getting Linux to play nicely with all my stuff, but I think we are we're pretty much, uh, we have that all established now. So expect some pretty regular scheduled content, but I just wanted to, to bring up you guys that might be down on yourselves because you're a beginner and you feel like there's so much ground to tread to get to where you want to be, you know, create that content along the way, show your work and understand that you bring a lot of value to the table as someone that's newer, as someone that is a beginner and that is learning alongside of the people that you would then help out by creating this content. So yeah, if that, if that serves as a motivator to start your blog or maybe pick up your blog that you abandoned a while back or, um, I don't know, create some YouTube videos perhaps even, then I would say this video was a great success. Let me know the video was a success if that's the case by smashing the like button, of course, and subscribing to the channel and dropping a comment down in the section below. You guys always have great video suggestions, so feel free uh, to drop one of those as well if you'd like. And if you want to get to some more technical content, I have it on the screen for you right now. I'll see you guys right over in those videos. Thanks for watching.